Okay, we're uh, on explore number five, evidence for evolution, and we're uh, trying to understand uh, how uh, does biogeography provide evidence for evolution? Does it provide evidence for evolution? If so, how? So go ahead and write out your Cornell notes, put your date and reference, and write down your essential question. Hit pause and tell me what you know. Okay, hopefully you wrote down something there. Uh, let's start with Roman number one. We'll go ahead and define what biogeography is. It's the study of the distribution of organisms, species, ecosystems, and biomes around the world. Anything that basically is living, right? Uh, it's the study of their distribution, where they're located throughout the world. Okay, and... Um, there are a number of factors that affect where uh, animals are going to live, where you and I are going to live. For example, you may prefer warm climates or a cooler climate. That's going to uh, determine where you live, right? Uh, the same thing can be said not just about uh, climate, but uh, the habitat area the type of soil there is, especially probably uh, for plants. Uh, soil is going to be especially important. Uh, certain subterranean animals. Um, also, soil uh, provides nutrients, minerals, and things like that. So uh, that will affect what kinds of organisms live there. Your latitude, uh, where you are in relation to the equatorial line. Are you on the equator? Are you... Um, up near the North Pole or the South Pole, or are you somewhere in between? Uh, and elevation, you know, uh, whether you're at sea level or whether you're 14,000 foot above elevation. Um, and then the geological history of the area. Over time, uh, what has happened there? Has there been a lot of volcanism, volcanic activity? Uh, is it just a large chunk of uh, rock in an island? Um, is there a lot of uh, sand, you know, geological history of the area? Having said that, um, these factors alone could not explain everything that um, people were observing, such as Darwin and Wallace. Um, there is plenty of uh, unanswered questions. Why do you see birds uh, like uh, ostriches and emus um, located on uh, different continents. They're not flying birds. How did they uh, cross over the different oceans to get there? Um, so biogeographic, uh, biogeography bio helps explain this, uh, these tough questions. And I think probably a lot of credit can go to Wallace. Uh, he was... Uh, somebody who really investigated uh, the distribution, uh, was thinking about continental drift, the idea that um, all the continents uh, are moving constantly and have from time to time been connected as supercontinents. If all the land masses are connected or were connected, this could explain how animals colonized uh, large portions of of that supercontinent. And when the supercontinent splits up, then you're going to find that those different populations are now split up on these different continents. And so that provided a nice, um, a, a nice foundation for what we call biogeography. Okay. Now, uh, biogeography uh, is, does it provide evidence for evolution? Uh, it does. We've got a few different points here that we want to take a look at, and we're just pulling these straight from your text. Uh, remember, Darwin was uh, especially uh, uh, interested in why you have such unique organisms on islands, right? And of course, he was looking at the islands uh, of the Galapagos chain off of Ecuador, and um, he noticed a, a number of interesting organisms that you don't find on the mainland. 
And he concluded that because you had lack of gene flow, you didn't have any mating of these animals with other animals on the mainland. Uh, you had a genetic isolation going on. This drove uh, what we call speciation, right? So uh, that was one, uh, another example of biogeography um, providing evidence for evolution. Um, letter B, we just mentioned this, we talked about um, continental drift and how that can also account for uh, these animals um, becoming uh, located on different continents there. So uh, that was a pretty short uh, explore page. Make sure you uh, watch some of the videos. They'll um, talk about adaptive radiation, how one species can speciate into many different um, types of species over time. And uh, go ahead and write yourself a summary paragraph. And we'll uh, catch up with you soon.